is spent on the Olympics. And what we are here to say today is that we want to see the social priority the economic priority of poverty and homelessness and housing addressed not only in our own city but right across the country. And we're here to demand of all levels of government, but particularly the Harper Conservative government, who have so abysmally failed to recognize this issue. And while they're spending billions on infrastructure in the Olympics and other projects, we're here to say that we demand that there be a national housing program. And when we had such a program, people were not homeless on the street. They were not destitute. They didn't have to rely on shelters that were forever worried about not having the funds that they'd be closing down. And that's what's going to happen again as we get towards April, that there'll be another crisis and another battle to even keep the shelters, the emergency shelters open. And so we want to say to, to the conservative government that the provision of safe, affordable, appropriate housing for all people is a right in this country, as was noted by the UN Rapporteur. And you can see his quote right on the red tent for all to see. The quote that he made in his report to the Canadian government. Now sometimes, you know, when we have rallies and we speak out and people say, well, what else we can do? Well, there's lots of things we can do. First of all, we have to continue with the social activism. And I want to say to the folks who were out last night in the red tents at, uh, at Science World in solidarity, and to the folks at the tent city and the community that is growing there, we support you, we are with you, and we will be with you as long as that continues. So the social action that takes place is really important because it's the visibility of what we do and speaking out to the broader community is really important. The social action. But we also have to work on the political level and I do believe that and I know there are some people who maybe don't believe that and that's okay, I'm fine with that. But we do have a bill in Ottawa, Bill C-304, that calls for a national housing strategy and program. And it's already passed second reading, and it's already been at the committee. And even though Harper shut down Parliament and is trying to keep us out of there, when we go back, that bill will still be there. And I want to tell you, we are going to fight tooth and nail to get that bill through. We're not going to let it go. And we're going to say to Harper and all of his backbenchers and his cabinet ministers that there has to be a national program. I can remember the days when we had a national program, when yeah. wonderful housing was built in this city and you didn't see people on the street. And we have to we have to make it clear that it's not an accident what's going on here. It's not people's fault and it's not an accident. This was about political decisions that were made to abandon these very important social programs programs, whether it was keeping the welfare rates low, whether it was cutting out the housing programs, whether it was allowing the developers to run amok in places like the downtown east side. These are conscious, deliberate decisions. And so we want to hold all levels of government to account. But most of all, I want to focus on the federal government because I do think that our city council has done a lot to try and deal with this issue. And I'm sure they can do more. In some ways, they bear the brunt of what's going on because they're at the end of the line. And even the provincial government has taken some measures, you know, but even the provincial government has not gone far enough. Saving existing units is one strategy, but it's not building the new units that we need. But but most of all, we got to go off to the federal government and to say without that involvement with the provinces, the territories, the municipalities, the First Nations, we're not going to have the housing program that we have to have and we will con continue to see a social and economic disaster in our city. We will continue to see the divide grow bigger and wider as more and more people fall into poverty and the poverty gets deeper and deeper. That's not what we want to see in this country. So thank you for being here today and I want to end by saying this, you know, we are going back into that parliament on March the 3rd 
and that the housing bill that we have, Bill C-304, will be coming up fairly quickly. And I want to make sure that every single member of parliament in British Columbia is supporting that bill. The Liberals have been supporting it, the Bloc have been supporting it, of course the New Democrats have been supporting it. So if you know of a Conservative M member of parliament, find out, demand to know why they have not been supporting this basic bill that needs to go through because there is an opportunity here to bring a message, a unity, a voice, to speak on the streets, to rally, to organize, to support the grassroots actions, but also to work on the legislative front as well and make it all come together and to make it mean something so that we can say housing is a human right, it's been realized, and that this is about caring and compassion and building a society that believes in those rights and acts on those rights. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for being here today and I just wanted to say it took us eight